what's up? So, um, this video was created from Texas 2K21, where we destroyed the drive shaft. I don't know if you guys remember the video where the drive shaft exploded. Uh, we actually did it twice. Uh, but now we're about to show you why it happened twice. Uh, we kind of knew this was a problem in the transmission. We took the risk to still run the car, uh, the 68 millimeter red car, uh, after we broke it. Most of the time when you break the drive shaft in the transmission bends so slightly, but that little bit uh, causes a lot of things to vibrate. So the drive shaft typically goes again after. And well, we wanted to test that theory. So we did, we ran it, it broke again. Here's the pass that we made when we broke it the first time. And then you'll see us scrambling to get the car ready. Fun times, fun times. We were in the semifinals, I think, against Jan Bueller, who actually won the class, I believe. And then here goes again, us trying again uh, against Jan. Put a drive shaft in, we lined up to the line, we took off. And there you go, it broke again. So check that video out. So it's been this long, probably two or three months, three months after 2K. Joe at Forge Performance checked out the uh, shaft, uh, calculated to see how, how it goes with roundness. Uh, pretty cool stuff. All right, we finally got an opportunity to take the bell housing apart from my car, from TX2K to see what was bent. So we've already tested the transmission and as far as we know that that input shaft is within spec. And looking at this, you rotate it that looks like about seven thou total out of round so I'm gonna go ahead and say that's bent but let's check the new ETS 300 M shaft to see what that reads out brand new on the bench all right so here's the new ETS 300 M output shaft as you can see, it's about a thou, if that. So I think we found our gun, smoking gun as to why we were eating drive shafts. So when the drive shaft broke, you have all that free mass just spinning around. And these materials just aren't strong enough to keep that uh, round. So 7 thou is enough to vibrate the shaft and make it explode. So this should help solve that problem. So there you go. Anyways, everybody knows that that typically happens when you break the drive shaft, you know, shaft would bend. So it always says to check the trans out after because it typically does. Uh, I broke a drive shaft actually in, uh, in Maryland. I'm sure you guys remember that. Here is that video. So far, that's three drive shafts for me. Anyways, we're always making records, right, for everything. <laughs> Maybe there's one for, for having the worst luck, huh? After we broke that one, I believe that trans was okay. Put it back in, and we're still running that transmission. I call that transmission Old Faithful. I'm sure some of you guys that have several transmissions out there has have one transmission at all of them that is your uh, go-to, and that always works. I have one too. I call her Old Faithful. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, kind of some of these things. It's been a little bit uh, th that we posted something, so I wanted you guys to see that we finally tested and checked out the transmission that broke the the drive shaft that Texas 2K twice. So, uh, anyways, we got more stuff coming. A lot of stuff coming, actually. A lot of good stuff. A lot of really cool stuff. Uh, so, uh, check it out. Just don't don't forget to. Subscribe, like, follow us. Uh, see you next video.